here to create Jewish art with us. We're going to show you how to make a bubble print of flowers for Shavuot. Now Shavuot is often celebrated by decorating with flowers because it's based on a passage in the Midrash that at the base of Mount Sinai where the Jews stood waiting to receive the Torah, it was covered with sweet smelling flowers. So for this project you're going to need um, a few materials. You're going to need a bowl, some water, I'm going to fill my bowl with water, just about maybe a quarter of a cup. There's no measuring here, it's a bit of trial and error. It's a great project to do outside, and maybe about uh, a quarter's worth of dish soap, any dish soap will do. And you're going to need either food coloring or paint. And a darker shade of paint is going to work better. So we've done purple with the paint, uh, blue with food coloring to sort of make a hydrangea color, and also red with food coloring. So paint or food coloring is going to work for you. And just so you see the amount, you're going to be pretty generous with it. Maybe the size of an Oreo cookie, a squirt of paint there. So now you're going to take your straw, and it helps if you have a bendy straw, because you can remember that the bendy side is going in your mouth. You're going to be blowing bubbles into this bowl mixture, only blowing out. So if you need to get a grown-up to help you with this, make sure you're only blowing out, and they're going to help you remember that. All right, so let's fill our bowl using our straw with some bubbles. You want to have it crowning over the top. Very good. All right, so we've tested that the bubble mixture is good to go. If we need some more bubbles, we could add more dish soap or some more paint. But before we actually print, we're going to take our marker and we're going to draw randomly around the table, around the paper, some leaves for our flower blossoms. You could use crayon, color pencil, sharpie, marker, anything you want, some light ones, some dark ones. Do it all over the table. This is going to be like a whole bunch of different ones. You're doing great. That's great. You don't have to draw too many. All right. So now that we have tested our bubbles, we know that it's nice and bubbly. We're drawing our leaves. We're going to set our markers aside. And now we're going to make the bubbles for real this time. We're going to take our papers and we're going to invert it on top of the mound of bubbles. So everybody, let's draw. Uh, let's stop drawing and let's do our, our bubbles now. You want to have the bubbles crowning over the bowl. Turn your paper over and dab it on. Now it helps to do it a few times to get the color saturated and dark. If you find that it's not dark enough, add some more paint. Stir the paint off if it's dropped to the bottom. Remember, you're only blowing out. You don't want to drink this. Okay, and if you just let the bubbles pop on their own, oh great job, show this one. If you let the bubbles pop on their own, it's going to get darker as it dries, so you don't have to pop them for it. So over and over again, and then what's a cool thing is you could trade papers. You could uh, do it on a different color. Do you want to trade papers? Yeah. Alright, so let's switch papers. And you want to blow again. And that way you can get more than one color on your paper. Great job. And stagger it around. Go all the way off the page so you fill the whole paper. Can I use some of your red? 
and make sure to switch straws if you trade with somebody else so that you're only putting your straw in your mouth. Great. Here, you can use this purple. So you see that some colors are getting darker than others. The red seems to be coming out really nice and dark. Red is a nice cheerful flower color. So the purple's not working so well. Yeah, the purple's not working so well. All right, it's a nice experiment here. All right, let's show what we've got, our final bubble flower prints for Shavuot. Let's put them here all in the middle. Well done. All right, this is a great fun thing to do. It would be great to get in your swimsuit, go on the driveway, make some bubble art. It's all washable. Have a great time. Happy Shavuot. Thanks for creating Jewish art with us. We hope you enjoyed it.